I've got um, New Zealand wine this week. One of my really closest friends, him and his girlfriend had a baby recently and he's from New Zealand. In honor of their beautiful new little girl, I would do a couple of New Zealand wines. First up is this Morisco Vineyards. It's a Kingsthorn Pinot Gris. And Pinot Gris, also known as Pinot Grigio, is doing really, really well in New Zealand. They're making some wonderful, wonderful stuff. This is a 2000 in 10. Majestic do this. I had it at their tasting. I just put excellent. I keep my notes very simple these days. This stuff is from Marlborough, this Pinot Gris. The fruit's a little bit closed. I have just opened it up. Believe it or not, white wine does benefit a lot from seeing some air as well. It's not just red wine that you can decant. White wine, especially something younger and something kind of full and intense like this bad boy here. Slightly floral, slightly apricot I was getting on the nose there. A little marzipan creeping in there. But the structure is there and it's long. It's really long in the palate. Really lovely, intense that wine. I'm gonna come back to it in a minute. My New Zealand red is also from Marlborough. This is the Crossings Pinot Noir. This is a 2009. Slightly earthy, bit mushroomy, which I love in Pinot when it's when it's it's beautiful self. So. Red fruit crushed, fresh red fruit. Oh, that's lovely. Nice high acidity. Chill your reds just a little, and especially a Pinot Noir. It'll love 15, 20 minutes in the fridge. You're able to taste everything. Everything is easier to pick out as opposed to the heat of, of the tannins and the alcohol. I'm loving the smell of this right now. I'm actually gonna try this with some food. Today, they've got fish and chips, haddock. Oh. The batter on that, fantastic. They don't always work. This, this isn't a bad combination. Something like this, simpler fish, maybe even some spicier sorts of dishes might work a little bit better. Still a wonderful wine, still well worth checking out. Majestic, it's on sale $9.99 when you buy two bottles of wine from New Zealand. Now, controversially for some, and maybe not for others, I'm gonna have some of this lovely The Crossings Pinot Noir. Hmm, peculiar, but I think it's working, you know? Food and wine, food and beer matching, it's not a precise science. I quite like this Pinot with it. Sure, it'd probably go better with like a rabbit stew or something like that. It's about experimentation. It's about trying things out, you know, learning what works, what doesn't work, and then making discoveries. And that's what's really exciting about all of this stuff. I didn't tell you how much it is. I keep waffling on. This is 10.99, available from the Wine Society, but a really classy Pinot Noir, that, and a really lovely Pinot Gris, both from New Zealand, Marlborough. We'll see you around. I'm gonna finish my fish and chips. Bye.